Hi, my name is Manuel Ikani. I am Dean and Professor at Citor Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of Citor Channel. Today, we are going to talk about a very important subject called sequencing. <music> After you diagnose your patient's problem and made your problem least and you start to deliver your mechanotropy, you need to think from where to start and where to end. What would be the sequence of delivering of treatment? What are the factors that control that sequencing? Why is sequencing so important? First, it can decrease the duration of the treatment significantly. If you randomly provide a treatment that moves some things in your benefit while moving things in the other opposite direction, it can increase the duration of treatment significantly. You're going back and forth. Second, it makes the movement predictable. If your mechanic is not precise, is not customized, you may want to move the tooth or uh, orthopedic target in a certain direction and you may end it up someplace else. The third factor is movement optimization. Biology controls the rate of movement. But what happens if your mechanic actually decreases the rate of tooth movement? By mistake, you may think the patient's biology is not responding, while maybe your mechanic is not optimized to take advantage of the maximum rate of biological movement. The result of all these problems, and even be worse, can cause root resorption, can damage the preattention, bone loss. All these problems can occur if we do not think about the sequence of our mechanotropy. So as a first session, of talking about sequencing, we need to clarify the most important factors. And that's the definition of three types of mechanics. Conflicting mechanics, synergistic mechanics, and neutral mechanics. What are they? This concept, conflicting, synergistic, and neutral, should be evaluated under two general headlines. One is individual mechanics, the mechanics that I'm designing to move a target unit. A combining mechanics, when I'm designing a mechanic for this target unit, and I'm designing another mechanic for another target unit, and I like to use these two mechanics simultaneously. Let's look at this concept, the conflicting, synergistic, and neutral mechanic first at the level of individual mechanics. What are they? Assume we have a case where the anterior teeth are retroclined and the patient has a deep bite. The target for now is the anterior teeth that need to be proclined and intruded. What happens if I design the anterior V-band for this patient? In this case, I actually producing a conflicting mechanics. Yes, my anterior V-band will procline the upper anterior teeth, and that's beneficial for me. But also anterior V-band extrude the anterior teeth for me, which is conflicting with what I want. It improves the position of the target unit in one dimension, but worsen the position of target unit in another dimension. So this is an example of conflicting mechanics when we are moving the individual targets that here that individual targets was the segment of the anterior teeth sometimes we design a mechanic for moving a one target unit and we get a good result on that but we affecting other target units that later on we plan to correct assume our premolars root need to be uprighted in this mechanic i will design a step band to produce the proper moments to upright these roots. However, the canine has a proper inclination of the root. 
and if anything requires extrusion. My step band would change the position of the root that was correct and also it producing intrusion force on the canine. The canine was not the target of my movement now. The premolars were the target and the premolars got better result but another target got worsened. Now that we saw different example of conflict mechanics when you are using individual mechanics that aim to move one target unit, let's look at synergistic mechanics. Assume I have a case that the anterior teeth are require proclination but they also require extrusion. Similar to the first case but in this case they require extrusion. What happens if I put an anterior V band? Yes, my mechanics is aimed to move the anterior segment as one target, but it has two proper effect: proclination of anterior teeth that I like, and extrusion of anterior teeth that I like. With one design, we achieve two goals. This is synergistic mechanic. There is no conflicting part in there. What happened if our target moves properly but at the same time the other target also get benefit from our mechanical design. Assume we have anterior teeth that the root are converged but at the same time I like the centrals to be extruded and lateral need to be a little bit intruded and I decided to use step band and V band to achieve this goal. Is this design improving the position of the centrals yes is this design improving the position of the lateral yes so with one mechanical design we move different targets properly in this design the effect of the uh, v-band is shown by the purple arrow and the effect on the step band is shown with the blue arrow an example of synergistic mechanics that improve the position of different target units. Now that you saw the examples of conflicting mechanics and synergistic mechanics, uh, let's see how an individual mechanic can be neutral. What is neutral mechanics? It means neutral mechanics is achieves only one goal, but it does not achieve additional benefit, but at the same time does not cause any additional side effects. Assume I'm intruding a molar from two tads, one from palatal side, one from buccal side, and the purpose is just producing a force vertical for intrusion. If I design it properly, I'm not affecting any other teeth in the arch. At the same time, I'm not doing too many things with the same design. This is a neutral mechanics. It's a good mechanics to achieve one goal. So when you are sequencing, you need to pay attention to avoid conflicting mechanics, at least have neutral, neutral mechanics, or encourage synergistic mechanics. This is very important. So far, we talk about if we are using only one mechanic that design based on movement of one target. What happens if we have different targets and we like to combine two mechanics at the same time. That would be the discussion for the next session of Citro Channel. I hope you enjoyed the, this session of Citro Channel. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And please don't forget to press the like button.